credit score is extremely important. And even with the catchy commercial jingles, credit scores are still largely misunderstood by many people. Financial advisor Rob Wilson joins us now to help us break down our scores and understand what they really mean. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, so this is kind of a complicated thing for a lot of people. Let's talk first of all about how the score itself is calculated. Absolutely. And I, I know now that NFL season has officially kicked off. The only scores that we're really going to be worried about for a while, at least until February, are the ones on the scoreboard at Heinz Field. <laughs> but, you know, if you think about this time last year, I mean, we were on the brink of a really big financial crisis. Yes. And, you know, what a difference a year makes. Even though things have gotten better, we're still in a difficult position. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to need to have a good credit score to even you know, be approved for a loan, let alone get the best rate. So let's let's talk about, first of all, what's on the, what's on the report and how the score is calculated. Okay. Uh, the score ranges from 300 to 850, with a good score being about 700 or so. Mm -hmm. And 35% of that is based on your payment history. Do you pay your bills on time? Of course, that's very important. 30% is based on the amount that you owe. So if all of your available credit is maxed out, why would I want to give you, you know, mm -hmm. even more credit if you're going to just go run that up? probably going to have some difficulties paying those right. bills. Let me ask you on history too, how far back does that payment history go? Typically if you have blemishes, uh, they, la they last on your report for about seven years, but the good stuff lasts forever. So okay. if you're in college and you get a, re a, a credit card and you pay that bill on time, mm -hmm. that history will be on there for a long time. And you want to have a longer history of positive information. That'll help you get better rates on your loans. Okay, that's good um, to know. 10% is based on inquiries in your report. I know a lot of people get worried about the inquiries, okay, if somebody pulling your credit. Right. Um, the, those inquiries are not counted if they're by you, if they're by an employer, if they're done without your knowledge. So you know how you get these pre-approved credit, you know, junk mail in your, yeah. in your mailbox. Yeah. Those do not count on your report. And the credit score does allow for rate shopping. So if you're going out and you're looking for a new car or you're looking for a new house, you want to get the be mm -hmm. best rate, so you're going to have to apply to a lot of different companies. You want to try to do that within 14 days, though, but the score does allow for you to, to check with different companies and get the best rate. Okay, so what is what kind of inquiries are, inquiries are not good? Yeah, if you are going out and applying for a bunch of different credit cards or loans okay. and things, that could be a sign that, you know, you're in some potential financial hardship. So that's not uh, looked uh, well upon on your credit report. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last 10% is based on the types of credit that you have. Do you have a student loan? Um, at 3% versus your, you know, Macy's card at 20%. Mm. Um, do you have installment versus revolving? The, the mix of credit that you have, that's the last 10% uh, on your score. Do mortgages play into that too? Well, of course, yeah. That's that's more of a um, of a uh, installment loan. So you've got 30 years and you make those payments uh, every month versus a revolving like your your credit card mm -hmm. or your Macy's or something like that department store cards. Okay, all right, good. So let's talk about now. You said you can check your credit score. That's not going to be a bad thing. No, your you can score. check your score as much as you want to. Now here's where it gets a little bit. Um, confusing there's three different credit bureaus and they can all have different information about you resulting oh. in three different scores but you do want to go check that hmm. so if you go to Experian okay. TransUnion or um, Equifax.com you can check your score as much as you want to mm -hmm. now we do talked about those jingles uh, in the beginning <laughs> and we all see these commercials with the FRE that's spelled yeah. free now they were actually fined repeatedly by the FTC for deceptive advertising your your credit report is not free through that company. You are entitled to one free credit report every 12 months, and but the only place that you can get that is annualcreditreport.com. Not freecreditreport.com, annualcreditreport.com. That allows you to get the report from all three bureaus so you can see what's on there. You don't actually get your score with the free report. Okay. Uh, but you can pay a nominal fee and get your and get your uh, you get your score as well. So, okay. like to clear that up for people because yeah. you don't get your report unless you pay that fifteen dollar credit you know monitoring fee. So mm -hmm. that's a common uh, mistake that people make. Wow. Okay. So if someone's asking you for money just to check your credits, then it's probably not a, a legit thing. Definitely not. I mean, and and I'm a little jaded on these credit repair. 
uh, companies. I haven't had an experience where I've seen them do things that an individual cannot do on their own as far as disputing uh, errors on the report or something like right. that. So so I would I would probably stay away from those guys. You can do a lot of that work on your own. Okay, so check your card, I mean, sorry, your uh, score. So once you check it, what are you looking for and what might need to be repaired? Well, you want to look for any errors. I actually had errors on my credit report mm. uh, before when I was applying for a job and they said, hey, Rob, we really like you. Uh, but there's some issues with this credit report, oh, and, if, wow. and if had those things been true, I wouldn't able, been able to have that position. But yeah. I called, I got those things off my credit report, cleared it up, and there you go. So you definitely want to take a look and see if there's any errors. Also, you want to make sure all of those accounts that are listed on your report mm -hmm. are actually yours. Uh, mm. you, you know, we've heard about identity theft and things going <laughs> out there. You want to know if someone's out there using your credit without your knowledge. So that's why you want to check that uh, pretty often. Great. Um, also, you know, you just want to make sure that you're paying your bills on time and that'll be accurately reflected on your report too. So you want to make sure that all, all that information is correct. So the biggest thing you can do is pay your bills on time. And then on this uh, information here, you say keep the oldest accounts in play. What does that mean? Well, that means you want to build that uh, history up as, for as long as you can. Ah. So again, if you have that credit card in college that you have a positive history on, you may get mad at them if they raise your rate or something like that. Don't um, cancel the card. Keep the card, cut it up if you're not going to use it, but keep it active because canceling it can actually reduce your credit history oh, and that can be negatively affected on your score. Okay, and then you also say only apply for new credit when you need it, not just every time they offer you a new credit card when you go to check out at the store. Uh, again, if you, if you start to see all of those inquiries on the report, mm -hmm. that tends to signal people that you may be uh, in some financial trouble. So, no okay. need to, to go out and sign up for all of these cards. I know when I was in college, they were giving away shirts, and I signed up for every card that I possibly could. I, why I needed a new shirt, I don't know, uh, uh, but I was lucky not to get too too jammed up yeah. with that. So, so apply for the credit when when you need it, not just you know sort of in a, in a haphazard fashion. Okay. Now, your last suggestion is ask for goodwill adjustments. What is that? So, if you've had a blemish on your with a credit card company and they've put that on your report. Let's just say maybe over the last six or 12 months, you've gotten yourself together, you've paid those bills on mm -hmm. time. You can give them a call and say, listen, you know, that was a mistake in the past. I paid my bill on time for the last 12 months. And under certain circumstances, they'll give you a goodwill adjustment and maybe remove that mm -hmm. from your report because you've, you've cleared that up. So With the it's credit worth a card try. company itself, is that who you call? With it, yeah, call directly to the credit card company. Maybe okay. Hopefully the operator's having a good day. Yeah, well, I've done uh, that and before. And they'll give you a break. And yeah. they've always changed it every time. Right, right. Well, good, <laughs> yeah. good, good job. All right, Rob, thank you. <laughs>